hello hello i'm just going to uh, have a little video chat with you guys when i'm driving home from the vet i have the little puppy in the back and uh we have just she's three months old now so we have just been to take her three months vaccine and so i'm on my way home and i figured i would just jump on and make a video while i'm driving because <laughs> I don't have that much time these days to do videos so uh, but I figured this was a good way to do it so I got this thing that holds my phone in the mail recently and so I can start making some videos while I'm driving which I think is a good way to connect when I have the time to so anyways uh, what I wanted to talk about because I said something in the in the video regarding December uh, about um, reg um, what did you call it not resignation but when you meet upon an obstacle when you get rejection or when you uh, when you get a no you know from something or someone now the title of this video is the gift of rejection or the gift of a no you know the 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 good things about a no and to understand that of course we have to understand the reason why we came and we have to understand uh, that from a higher perspective we have all decided to do something in this lifetime we have decided what purpose we were going to have during this lifetime and so our human mind and uh, our ego doesn't always see the road ahead right the ego is taught uh, to get back to the normal get back to what we have been taught when we were growing up as children and as youth you know uh, in the beginning of our life we were taught certain things and the ego will always try to get us back to that because that feels safe I mean for most people at least that feels safe because that's what we've been taught that's what that's what we're used to and so um, the ego will fight if you have a different purpose than what you were taught when you were growing up the ego will try and fight it right <coughs> so uh, the gift in a no is of course that that means that your higher self is trying to put you on your right path so a no means that you're going down a direction that is not meant meant for you so whenever we get a no whenever we get a rejection whenever we feel like we're you know butting our head against the wall um, whenever something happens it can be a no from other people but it can also be a no from your own body it can be that your body uh, gets sick or your body feels nauseous regarding something or off balance you know stuff like that that's spirit kind of or your energy field trying to tell you this isn't right for you this isn't meant for you this is not the road that you were supposed to go down and so we can when we see it that way then we understand that rejection is actually a gift so a no can be a huge gift uh, in the sense of then you can finally let go of the struggle to try and do something that was not meant for you let go of it feel through whatever you need to feel through because it is a process and it can and it can hurt it can feel devastating to have to let go of something but once we have realized that okay I have to kind of surrender to spirit I, I surrender to my higher self knowing that my higher self and God knows better they know best so once we have surrendered that then we can also let go of the stuff that's not supposed to come with you the stuff that you're not supposed to do so I, I you know there I, I've had that myself many times you know I thought that I was supposed to first of all I thought I was supposed to be an actor so I tried to, uh, to do that for many years and singer and play the piano and dancing and all that stuff you know and did uh, was on stage and did a lot of different stuff there and then uh, I became a guide and then I traveled all over the world you know guiding people um, Scandinavian tourists and then uh, I thought I was going to be uh, working in marketing and sales and so I did that for a long time and then I thought I was going to do ev events and then I thought it was going to be leadership so you know I've gone through all of these different things and I thought that because I, I met the wall okay I have to try something else but it never occurred to me that the thing that I always did from when I was a child 
which was of course seeing things and giving readings to my friends and stuff uh, and and of course my my hobby and interest which was the spiritual journey it never occurred to me that that might actually be what I was supposed to do so I have butted my heads against the wall so many times and of course my ego has been trying to get me back and my whole family was in marketing so my ego has been trying to but that's you know that's what I was supposed to do that's what my whole family does that's what I'm supposed to do but of course it wasn't you know so but it took me a long time also or my ego a long time to accept that you know your higher self knows best your higher self knows the road you as the ego doesn't know uh, how to fix this you know so I had a huge thing of surrendering where I had to just okay I surrender I understand that I just have to understand I don't know anything I <laughs> my ego doesn't know anything so the, the best advice I can give to you if you're feeling like you're butting it, your head against the wall you're feeling like you're getting rejection after rejection no after no is that remember that a no can be such a huge gift because there's something else you're supposed to do um, there is something better for you okay they would never do something that's going to be worse for you they are here to serve they are here to help you through this human journey they love you unconditionally and they want to try and help you to find your way and to do what you're meant to do so can you surrender to that fact can you surrender to the fact that um, maybe this is the road that you're on right now maybe that's not the road for you can you surrender to the fact that spirit knows best that your higher self knows best can you surrender to the fact that they love you and they want what's best for you can you surrender to the fact that they want to put things in your path that all you have to do is allow it to happen okay you don't have to do anything actually you just have to surrender and say yes I understand please show me the way please help me you know I thank you for helping me I thank you for showing me the way so you get into the energy of joy and gratitude and then just allow them to put these things on your path and they will they will put put it on your on your path they will make sure that you are taken care of so don't worry okay don't and don't try and get into but what if and then what and you know your ego wants the conclusions your ego wants the control you know your ego wants to know what's gonna happen but sometimes we just have to let go totally of the steering wheel <laughs> not me right now but <laughs> of, of the steering wheel of your life and say okay I, I understand this it's not me who's supposed to drive the car here it's not me who's supposed to see the direction I just have to follow and that's also where we're talking about getting into the flow when we're in the flow state we allow spirit we allow spirit to show and we just flow along the river kind of um, that they have foreseen for us or that they are making for us so um yeah i mean if you can sit in meditation that would be the best way to maybe see things clearly to get the messages but before you do that you have to say i surrender say the words out loud i surrender i understand now that i have to let this go i surrender to your wisdom i surrender to your advice please show me the way and then you can sit down in meditation okay so um, there is, I think there is some meditation uh, that's called the temple meditation that I have put under my playlist for, uh, if you go on to my playlist, there's different meditations there. I think there's one playlist that's called meditation, if I'm not mistaken. And so you can try and find um, uh, the meditation that's called temple meditation, I think it's called. Uh, because then you can go into the temple and uh, often you're supposed to meet relatives or also your spirit team there so what you can do is you can do the meditation you can meet somebody in your spirit team that will give you some information regarding where you're supposed to go but you know other than that it's a matter of following what's being put on your path because uh, meditation is of course one way where you can get some answers but the other thing is to just be aware of what's coming your way is there an offer is there a phone call is there an sms a text you know is there an email is there all of a sudden you're hearing a special song or a special commercial on the radio 
Uh, is there a friend that's all of a sudden saying something where you're kind of like, hmm, you know? So those are also the signs that spirit is going to give to you. Um, it can be a series of numbers that you all of a sudden see, you know, uh, and then in a, a certain situation that might lead you towards the right thing. It might be pulling some cards, you know, if you have some oracle cards or tarot cards, maybe that will also, they, maybe they will try and reach you through through there. Uh, so it's, it's a matter of being aware of the signs that spirit is then trying to give you, because they will. If you surrender and if you say, I understand, you need to take the reins now uh, and and really honestly surrender to them showing you the path, they of course will. They will not abandon you. They will not not give you the right direction. They will of course try and, and give you the right direction. So yeah, that was that was just, you know, uh, a video about how, how a no and how rejection and how challenges can actually be a gift. It can. And also on a personal level, not just about our life path, but on a personal level, if we are too much in our ego, if we are too much stuck in old patterns, in addiction, in co-addiction, in uh, hanging around the wrong people or, or doing stuff or be playing in energies that's not good for us, then our body will react, you know, and it can react with sickness uh, so that you have to slow down, you're forced to slow down, you're forced to uh, maybe take time off work or maybe say no to certain things because your body can't do it. That's a sign. It's a sign from your body saying, hey, listen, this isn't working, right? So it's a matter of listening and being aware uh, of everything happening. And also in that process where we are getting a no from our own body, for instance, that will also trigger maybe something that needs to come out of you. Maybe it's old patterns, maybe it's addiction, maybe it's trauma uh, or, or shock on the physical form that needs to be fell through and released. And in that process, something changes in our brain too. Something changes also on our spiritual journey. We wake up more. So all these challenges and all these sicknesses and all these things happening, it's not happening to us, it's happening for us. Always remember that. Everything is happening for you. It's a reason behind everything. So if you're experiencing a lot of sicknesses, for, for instance, or a lot of um, feeling drained or stuff like that, then it, it's a sign. It's a sign that something you're doing right now is not good for you. You're not supposed to do it. And um, for, for me at least, the process of becoming sick, it gave me a huge boost on my spiritual journey. Of course it did, because I had to go in and really examine everything about me and everything about my life, everything about my personality, you know, addictions, everything, right? So in that sense, it was a gift because it got me to a better place emotionally and spiritually, which was meant for me, which was part of my journey that I decided before I came as a higher self. So it's so important to listen to these signs when they come, you know, listen to your body and listen to spirit, listen to the messages that's coming, right? very important. Well, I'm home on the farm. <laughs> so I'm just going to park the car and then I'm going to um, close off this video. But I have to tell you, you know, this might be a way that I, I'm going to communicate more often. I hope you enjoy that way also. And I don't always have to sit inside and in front of my video camera inside and everything that I can do this because it makes me more accessible. <laughs> it makes it easier for me to make some more videos. So I'll do that. And also, of course, when I'm walking the dog, sometimes I can do that as well. So that was that, people. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you something. And if you have any questions or if you want to comment on whatever I've talk, talked about today, please comment in the comment section and I will answer you. And if there is somebody who would like me to address a certain topic, then let me know and I will try and do that as well. Okay? You have my love. Thank you so much for participating today. Till the next time I see you.